Hello friends, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a 3D staircase using AutoCAD. This is a project that was inspired on other tutorials that I saw, but that were lacking, uh, you know, different uh, explanations. They were too slow, too fast. Some of them were mute and only had um, video but not audio. So I want to do it very slowly and for the complete beginner uh, so uh, you can learn how to draw it fast and easy. So I'm gonna start by drawing a circle. Uh, this is gonna be the base for my staircase. Uh, so I'm gonna type C enter. We're gonna make a 200 units uh, diameter staircase. So I'm gonna click C enter and then I'm gonna type 100 for the radius and press enter. That's gonna give me a 200 um, units uh, diameter circle. Uh, the next step is I'm gonna draw a line. So L enter from the center of this circle to the quadrant. I'm gonna shift right click quadrant so I get my quadrant object snap and I can snap to this quadrant and then click. I need this line because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide this circle into different sections that I, each section is gonna be a step of my stair. And then after that I'm gonna pull up all those sections to make the stairs. So. I'm gonna divide this into 18 steps, but uh, you can do it in more or less steps depending on your needs. So for now, I'm gonna do it for 18. So what we, we do first here is uh, we go with it says um, modify, the modify section, and then I'm gonna click on polar array, or you can just type array polar. And then I'm gonna click on this line that I just created, press enter. And then I'm going to select the base point which is going to be the center of the circle and then on the top left when it says items from 6 I'm going to put 18 remember I want to have 18 steps so I'm dividing the circle in 18 pieces I press enter and that's it now it's important that you start working with layers uh, from the beginning of your drawings because that will allow you to turn them off and on declutter your drawing and make things much easier to do uh, when you are editing things. So let's do that. So on the home tab I'm gonna click where it says layers and then I'm gonna click on the layer property icon or you can just type layers enter in the command line. So right now I only have the default layer 0. I'm gonna create a new one. I'm gonna click here on the new layer or press alt n and I'm gonna create a layer for my stairs, um, my steps, okay? And I'm gonna, the steps are gonna be of a different color. This is very important that each layer has its own color so you are able to differentiate them. I'm gonna make them, uh, you know what? I'm gonna make it kind of orangish. Click okay. Then I'm gonna create an, another layer and this is gonna be for my lines, sketch lines, enter. And these are gonna be maybe red. Okay, and I'm gonna make one last layer, and this is gonna be for others. Okay, and I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna make this blue. Okay, so now I have enough layers, and I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna make the lines layer active by double clicking on this icon here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select everything here, I'm gonna go back to the layers, and here on the drop down, I'm gonna move all these lines to my lines layer. So now they are all red and I know they are in the proper layer. So remember each of these uh, divisions of the circle are going to be my steps. So the next step I'm going to use the orbit command to uh, change perspective. So from 2D I'm going gonna, gonna to have a 3D perspective. And what I want to do now is I want to draw a line from the center of the circle on the z-axis all the way up. And we're gonna make this staircase 300 units high, but you can make it you know, in any way you want. I'm gonna make it 300. So I'm gonna type L, enter, okay? And I'm gonna draw a line from here, from the center. And I, I'm using my, my polar snaps to make sure that I'm drawing the Z axis. You see here it says polar 163.2975, and then it says plus Z, so I know I am in the Z axis, and that's great. And I'm gonna type 300, enter, and that what it did is just then escape to get out of the line command. I draw a 300 uh, line, a 300 length line, 
And the next step I'm gonna do is I need to divide this line into 18 sections. So I can pull up each of my stairs to each of those divisions. So I have equally uh, spaced and e steps of equal height. So to do that, the first thing is I need to change the cursor to something different than just a dot. So I'm gonna type P and then type, press enter. And from the point style of a dot, because if I use just a dot I, and I divide my line in 18 sections, I won't see the division. So I need to have something that allows me to see that those divisions. So I'm gonna use this one and click OK. After doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use the divide command. I'm gonna type divide to make it faster. Divide. I'm gonna click on the line that I want to divide, press, and then I'm gonna type on the number of segments I want to divide it. I said 18, we have 18 steps, so I'm gonna type 18 and then enter. And now I have 18 divisions here on my height line. The next step is a fun step, and that is to pull up each of these individual sections uh, and snap it to each of the divisions that we did on the line. So before we do that, because these are gonna be steps, I want to switch to my step layer. So I'm gonna click here on the layers icon and then change the active layer from lines to steps. Okay, and now we're gonna be orange. So I'm gonna move here and uh, we want to start, let's just start from, from here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see it. I'm gonna go where it says, let's see here, press pull, or you can type press pull enter. And you see now I have the sections I can select. I'm gonna start with this one, I'm gonna click it. And then I'm gonna go up and I have to snap it to each of these uh, divisions that I did on the line, but it's not doing it. So for that, I'm gonna press escape I'm gonna go back to my uh, object snap. I'm gonna deselect everything but endpoint, and I'm gonna select node. The node object snap will allow me to snap to each of these nodes on the line. I'm gonna press enter, I'm gonna go over and click on press pull again, select this section, and now I can snap, see, to each of these nodes. Now, because we are in 3D, you have to be careful uh, that you are snapping to each node in sequence. So I need to snap to the first node first, that's one. And then you have to rotate to see what you're doing, okay? And you're still inside the snap command. I haven't pressed escape, so I can just click here and now snap to the second one. If you press escape by accident, just press uh, um, the press pull again and go back to the command. Click on the next one and I go to the next one, the next one the next node, this one, this node. At this point I have to rotate again and I need to zoom out a little bit, okay. And that click here, and that here. Again, I need to zoom out and rotate. And click in here. See, we, because we have two layers with different colors, if things are much more clear and they are easier to manipulate here and you have to be careful here because it's very easy uh, to get confused and then snap things in the wrong node oh, we are almost done here here Put it here there you go to this one to this one to this one we only have two steps left. And you know, you can just zoom in to see what we are doing. So the last one will be this. And the last step that you see here is actually gonna go to the end point of the line. So to the end point of this red line. All right, so we have concluded the press pull, pull procedure. So right now to make sure that you did everything well or that we did everything well, what you should do is uh, click where it says on the view section, we are in wireframe visual style. You have to change that to conceptual. If you do that, now you rotate and you can see it you know, in 3D in solid. 
form and not just in wireframe. And you see that this looks good. It looks like we snapped to correctly to each of those nodes and we are ready for the next step. Although at this point we already have a staircase uh, that we can use, a 3D staircase, we're going to refine this so there is an even empty space below each of the stairs of our staircase. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to have some space to maneuver here. So I'm going to press pull the last two steps up. So we're going to do here, press pull, and we're going to pull here, and then press pull here, and I'm going to pull here up. It's not that important how high you go, but as long as you leave enough space here, you don't you know, cut too much into the stairs in the upper section of your staircase. This next step is where it gets a little bit trickier. We're going to create a helix around the staircase and then a rectangle that we are going to uh, revolve around that helix in order to evenly remove all space uh, below our stairs in our staircase. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is draw that helix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here and you can, if you want, you can turn off the stairs layer if it gets on the way. For now, I'm going to do it with it. So you type helix, enter. And the first parameter of the helix is the center point, and the center point is going to be here. This is the center of my circle. And when you pull out, okay, you you want to be sure that the 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 helix base is in the same plane that your staircase. So make sure of that first. The second thing is be careful of the direction of your pulling. So I, you have to align it to the first step here. So it has you cannot do it here or you should do it here because that's where the helix is going to start from and we want our helix to start from the first step so snap on this endpoint okay the next parameter is the radius and it's going to be a hundred because remember the radius of our circle was a hundred enter now press T for number of turns the default is three but you only want to have one, so put type one. That's the number of turns the helix will do. So type one. And the last parameter is the height, and our height is going to be one, uh, 300. So you type 300 here, enter. And now you see that that, that blue line, which is our helix, goes all around our staircase, okay? and it's perfectly aligned to the beginning of each step. And that's exactly what we want. If you have that, then you know you are doing great. Uh, you can also turn off that stairs layer to see it. So I'm gonna click here, turn off the stairs layer, okay? And that now you can see you know, the helix and the center. All right, so the next step is to create a rectangle. Remember, we need a rectangle that we're gonna revolve around the helix. So we need to create a rectangle that starts from the center and goes exactly here to the beginning of the first step. And there is the height of this this step, okay, in the you know in the z plane. So for that, we're gonna have to change uh, our origin first to make things easier and align our coordinate system to this plane, to this line that we have here, to the direction that our first step is uh, facing. Uh, so we can then draw a rectangle in that same direction. So I'm gonna go here to the origin, right? I'm gonna click it. Then I'm gonna click on its uh, center grip and I'm gonna move it and snap it to the center of my circle. That's step one. Step two is I need to change, okay, the or rotate the X Y plane right now the Y is here and the X is here the Y should be going up okay so we can draw a rectangle so what you do is you hover on the Y axis grip and you until you see this that says Y axis direction don't click on it don't click on the grip just hover on it until you see that and then you click on the first option and now you're gonna put it until it's on the top okay so now you see that our plane also our grid changed okay and that's great because I just I want to draw the rectangle in that plane but the only thing is I need to rotate or align the X plane with my line or my first step 
so it's facing the same angle. So again, I hover on top of the grip of the X axis, click on X axis direction, and I'm gonna snap it to this endpoint. This is the first step line, and that's it. Now it's perfectly aligned to that uh, step. So now I'm gonna draw the rectangle. I'm gonna click on the draw area rectangle option, or you can type rectangle. And then the first corner is gonna be the first endpoint of my staircase. That's the height of my staircase. Then I'm gonna choose the dimension option here of the rectangle command. And uh, the length is gonna be 100 because that's the length of my circle. And now the uh, width, I'm gonna put 40 or you could, you could also put minus 40 to make it go down, okay? Uh, or you can just move it here up and down. So I'm gonna click and that's my rectangle. As you can see how the rectangle is perfectly aligned with my helix and it's facing the first step. So the next step is to revolve this rectangle to the helix. So go with it says, you know, extrude, there's a drop down and you can click on sweep or just type sweep enter to enter it into the command. The first step is to select the rectangle, press enter, and next you select the helix that you just draw and press enter. And that draws, you know, uh, revolves that rectangle through that helix. And as you can see, as you can, I'm gonna zoom out so you can see it, and it looks pretty good. Also, you, what you could do is we can go ahead and turn on those layers or the layer of the steps so you see that uh, the that revolving, you know, is, is going all through my staircase, okay? The next step is to join all these steps into one single solid staircase. So to do that, I'm gonna click on my layers, I'm gonna turn off the helix layer, okay? And then I'm gonna click where it says union, and I'm gonna select all my stairs steps and now it's like one single solid object now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna intersect okay uh, my two solids here so I'm gonna click where it says solid editing and then intersect or solid intersect and then I'm gonna click the blue helix solid and my staircase solid and then I'm gonna press enter and that's it. You see, I have the staircase. Uh, it's almost perfect, uh, and uh, you know, it has an even space empty on on the bottom. Now, as you see here, if I zoom in, you see that there is this uh, extra uh, piece here that we need to remove. To do that, it's very simple. All we have to do is go here where it says box, but this time we are gonna draw a cylinder. And our cylinder is gonna start from the center here. And it's gonna be, let's say 20 units. So we put 20 diameter, okay. And now we're gonna pull up, and you see that what I'm pulling up is covering that imperfection there, or that extra stuff. And I'm gonna call it, pull it all the way up. Now I'm gonna orbit to see how it is. And the last, last step is to simply go ahead here where it says, solid subtract so i'm gonna click here i'm gonna click the stairs first enter and then this guy enter and uh, as you can see now our staircase is perfect and it doesn't have that extra piece that was hanging out here the last thing would be to simply go ahead and turn off uh, the extra layers that we don't need typing layer enter and let's turn off this layer and that's it well guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to subscribe and support my channel uh, thank you so much thank you for all your comments please uh, just let me know if you like the video and again thank you so much for watching until next one